Hello, uh, I'm Mark Bart Johnston, and um, I'm uh, about to go into the Burgess Hills Ride Cinema to uh, check out uh, Marvel's Ant Man for this year. Now, um, it's uh, going to be a review of response of sorts. Let's see what I, I think of it. I've heard it's got good reviews, and it's quite funny, so I've got good hopes, and I do quite rather enjoy Paul Rudd, especially in Friends. So, um, before anyone starts to suspect us, um, we're going to try the film. But we're definitely not in filming in the theatre. Yeah, I'm not stupid. Right? Let me be the professional here. I'm not very good at it. You were brilliant. I'll give you that. Yes, the film was as promising as I was hoping it would be. You know, um, uh, a good Marvel film. Uh, so, something that actually nails it for the modern era. Yeah, for movies these years, then they're, they're not normally appraised. But, uh, and, well, Marvel, uh, the Avengers films excluded, but this definitely nails it as well. I haven't been uh, catching up with many Marvel films lately, regretfully. Not even Guardians of the Galaxy. Go on, shoot. Yeah, uh, but uh, I'm quite glad. Not very glad. But I caught up with Ant Man. Well, I wasn't that big on him before. But it's certainly got my attention. Maggie's certainly become one of my new favourite Marvel heroes. Yeah, beside uh, uh, Iron Man. Uh, yes, and the um, the villain as well. Brilliant. Uh, uh, Darren Cross. I also Yellow Jacket. I don't know his real the actor's name. But uh, Paul Rudd as Scott Lang as the uh, uh, what replacement Ant Man for Hank Pym, which is Michael Dobson. He nailed it as well. So, I think, well, oh yeah, I say, from, from the studio that brought you the Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sure you all know that by now. Now, here is the Daniel Lego. Well, in my mind, he's suddenly gone big. So, I think that'll conclude it. I really enjoyed the film. And I hope you guys do too when you tune in. Yeah.